welcome to Clippers Manufacturing 101. So when it comes to a bad clipper, most people think it's the material first to blame, but that's not right. A good manufacturer should know how to connect their clipper's motor to its blade. And that's what matters the most. A proof of concept for that is just the JRL streamers. I mean, they have a very bad material, but the mechanism that connects the motor to the blade is just perfect. And about the Babyliss, it's famous for both material and good mechanical design. So the part that does this connection between the motor and the blade is called Pin drive. It's a pin drive for Babyliss's clippers. Before talking about this pin drive, I want to take a look at pin a pin drive from a cheaper clipper. So this is the pin drive, and I put the, the small blade on it. When the clipper works, the friction between the small blade and the big blade puts pressure on this spot. So if you don't keep the blade oil, the friction will uh, cause corrosion on all around this spot. And when it, when it gets corroded, the small blade won't fit anymore and it moves freely in its place. When this happens, your clipper will get a bad, you'll get a bad cut and your clipper will get noisy. So what Babyliss did, they distributed the pressure from this spot to this and this too. So now there are three spots that actually are uh, resisting the pressure. So I see no Babyliss that got corroded on this three spot and it's a very good design. If you don't keep, if you don't keep the blade oil on your Babyliss clipper, the motor shaft will eat this part because it will be hard to move the small blade so the shaft of the motor puts a lot of pressure on this spot and it will get damaged by corrosion so that's it about the Babyliss pin drive so if you are money a manufacturer that want to use this uh, pin drive you should keep the RPM of your clipper low. The problem with this clipper, in addition to this one, is a high RPM. It has a the the motor has a high RPM, so the pin drive can handle it both speed and friction. So it get damaged very soon. So the manufacturer of this clipper, which is a fake copy of a Babyliss clipper, said. I manufactured this for barbers use. So barbers like the high RPM, so they didn't pay attention to this important part. So this uh, pin drive has the exact same design uh, with this pin drive. So it got used in this clipper and it's for uh, home use. So the RPM is pretty low and these are this uh, pin drive will last much longer because the RPM is low and uh, the blades of this clipper is a little bit lighter so this will work much better in addition to that the material of the pin drive in compared to this one is much better this is very much stronger in compared to this one so if you are manufacturing that want to use a uh, use this type of pin drive you should keep the rpm low if if not you'll the pin drive gets damaged much quicker in compared to a design like this or if you're a manufacturer like babyliss that want to keep the rpm high you should distribute the pressure on multiple sections so the problem the the reason that they, these companies don't actually uh especially this company don't uh, fix this problem can't kind of fix the problem is they don't have a single design for example they buy the pin drive from company alpha they get the their uh, 
blaze from company of beta they they get the motor from uh, delta and they just assemble it and they're not single design they just they, they're just businessman goes there and tell the companies to create clippers for them and they're not a really good engineering behind them but about the expensive brands and clippers they have a very good design that they, they know what they are doing that's why you get a much better performance on something like Babyliss or Wall in compared to a cheaper clipper. So the pin drive matters and it matters a lot. So if you're a manufacturer, you should know what you're doing with your pin drive. That's it. I want to hear your thoughts, ideas in the comments. I'll be happy to read them. So if you have, if you, anything was wrong or right or something you want to wanted to say about this video please leave it in the comment thanks for watching and see you next video